Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Unknown Treasures, the show that focuses on unique places and gets the facts behind them. For this very special episode, we will be focusing on Milwaukee's very own Discovery World and some of its main attractions. But I'm sure you don't want to listen to me talk all day. Let's go to our man inside Discovery World and get some background information. So Discovery World is Wisconsin's largest science and technology center. We are 120,000 feet square feet and still growing and we will be with our expansion of exhibits, of aquarium, of educational space. Uh, we are the science center in Wisconsin that we hope everyone comes to and wants to learn more about freshwater sustainability, technology, engineering. Uh, Discover World tries to play in uh, you know as many educational avenues as possible, but definitely our strengths are freshwater um, science and technology. Discovery World has so many different fascinating things to see, but for this episode, we're gonna be focusing our attention on the technology exhibit, the aquarium, the main flagship, and the pilot house. The way our building split up is you can only, you start in one, right? You go through technology first or aqua, and they're completely different. Technology is that wow factor. You walk in there and we have some really cool light displays. We also will have flight simulators. We'll have Bernoulli tables where you're literally making things float in the air and learning how the principles of flight work. Uh, we have a partnership with Rockwell Automation where we usually have, we make engineering and automation fun with, we show technology and not just how it's used in factories, but how that can correlate and relate to student activities and how kids can someday see themselves eventually in that field. So when you're going through the technology building, you'll see a lot of our partnerships and they are kind of helping us put together these exhibits and these programs that really educate the public on the importance, but also the fun aspects of you know the educational force and the pipeline and all of the jobs that are the careers that are available right here in Milwaukee and throughout the world. As you've already seen, the technology exhibits have many incredible things for you to see and do for both kids and grown-ups alike. But as cool as a lot of the stuff in these exhibits are, there is one very special section unlike any other in the entire technology exhibit area which is dedicated to a special individual who you probably know quite well. So Les Paul, the Wizard of Waukesha, born in Waukesha, we're very lucky here to have, a, to have had a relationship with Les when he was alive. We actually hosted Les's wake when he passed away as well. Um, but we have the world's largest collection of Les Paul memorabilia, all the way from the very first, um, the very first guitar he ever made out of a railroad spike. So we have that all the way to, a lot of people don't know, they think of Les and they think of he created the electric guitar huge innovation. He also traded multi-track recording, which we have a bunch of examples in exhibits here too. So before Les's time, it wasn't possible to have musicians play in one part of the world and come together and, and conglomerate that music. So they would all have to get together in the same room and it was very time consuming. What Les did was really invent the way the multi-track recording works. So what you're hearing now with Beyonce or Jay-Z, anyone that way, is because of Les. So we're able to show not just the cool guitars he made, but the innovations Les had throughout his life. So we talk about when Les was a kid, he broke his arm and found a way to play guitars with two broke arms. He, he was always finding ways to tinker and to change what, he, what, pe what, mu what people thought music was. So for us, as much as we talk about Les the musician, we talk about Les the inventor. We talk about Les the wizard, the guy that really kind of did some crazy stuff and changed the world of music. And for us, we love to celebrate that here. I mean, we even have every year on his birthday on June 9th, we have Les Paul birthday celebration. So we'll have one this year. We bring a ton of, uh, a ton of else interested in music personas, uh, especially people that you know feel Les did a lot for their lives with the inventions he did and how they touched them personally. So we always try to have music as a big part of our staple and Les Paul is the number one reason behind that for us. As you have clearly seen, Discovery World has a great respect for Les Paul and all the amazing things that he did during his life. But now it's time to take this show on the road, and by on the road, I mean from our technology building into the aquarium building, which houses all the water elements used by Discovery World. Our aquatarium building is three floors of nonstop freshwater education, but in a really fun way. So right away when you enter the aquatarium building, the first thing you'll see is the world's largest replica of the Great Lakes system, the moving lock system. You can literally press a button and make a thunderstorm appear and you can make it rain from the ceiling or you can make lightning uh, rain down and kids absolutely love that. So you kind of start with this, this really wow factor. It should also be mentioned that there are many other exhibits that you can interact with near the Great Lakes exhibits. And you can also find living examples of the types of fish that are found in the Great Lakes, like the bluegill shown here. 
And then when you go to our basement, that is where you'll see the Ryman Aquarium, which is Milwaukee's largest aquarium. So we house thousands, hundreds of species of different freshwater and some saltwater creatures in that aquarium. Some of the fish that you see down in the aquarium might seem simple, like the sort of thing that you could see anywhere out on a regular lake. But every fish that you see is here for a reason, from the seahorses to the types of fish that can defy any sort of explanation I could give. I guarantee that everyone will find something in this aquarium that they would not expect and will be thrilled to see. So you'll see the Lake Michigan tanks and you'll literally go through and you'll see the brackish, which is salt water and freshwater mix when you get through the St. Lawrence. You'll see the animals that live there. Then you'll get through the Caribbean tunnel. So then you'll eventually get to a point where you'll see our Great Lakes tunnel, see that, but you also will have, you can pet sharks, you can pet stingrays, you can pet sturgeon. You can do really cool stuff in the aquarium. It would also be appropriate to mention that a small section near the aquarium called Weird and Wild has several different sea creatures from all around the world. It's so cool that I can't even spoil it for you. If you want to find out what's hidden down there, you'll have to go and see it for yourself. So the aquarium is just like everything else at Discover, but you literally have the chance to have hands-on interaction with the animal. Uh, but you're also learning a ton about the Great Lakes that are right behind us here at Discover World and all uh, waterways around the world too. Now it's time to move on to another water topic and perhaps the most impressive of them all, the Dennis Sullivan. Let's hit it! In the Ryman Aquarium, we have a model ship of the Dennis Sullivan. So the Dennis Sullivan is the world's only recreated 19th century Great Lakes schooner. So what you're seeing with the, with the diorama is just part of it, because when you look out the windows, May through October, that ship will literally be housed here at Discover World, taking three, day sa three sails a day for the general public, anyone that's interested in seeing literally the coolest sights of Milwaukee because you go down the coast and you see some really fun stuff. What also people don't know about that, uh, the ship, it's one of the world's only, it's, it's captained by one, uh, a female, uh, Tiffany Crewan, one of the world's only female captains in the whole world, is right here in Milwaukee on the Dennis Sullivan. What also is really cool about the Dennis Sullivan that a lot of people don't talk about is that's a very niche industry. You don't just kind of put out ads in the paper saying, hey, we're looking for sailors. We get sailors from across the country. We get sailors internationally that come and they'll actually live at Discover World in our building on the ship for five months out of the year. So every single year while we'll see a you know, there is a, a, crew, a good member of the crew, good number of the crew that stays with us year after year. We always, get to new, we always get to meet new folks that are really interested in that, and they're part of our family for a long time. And the Sullivan is one, of, you know, one of the most unique things about Discover World. One of the most unique things about Milwaukee, and it's Wisconsin's official flagship. So, I mean, it's it's definitely, I would say, a hidden treasure in Milwaukee that we are trying to get the word out, but come ride the Dennis Sullivan. It is one of the coolest experiences you'll ever see, and a lot of people don't know that they can do that. I know that a lot of great stuff has already been said about the Dennis Sullivan, but come on, you've got to admit, this is super cool. I mean, just imagine it, sailing on this ship out on the lake, and you just, just look at the rigging here, and you can tell it just makes you feel like you're an old-time sailor. But I think it's about time we went back to Discovery World. And if you're thinking just by looking at it that there haven't been any changes over the years, that things have always been the same, well then prepare to stand corrected. About five years ago, we really reimagined what our demographics are. So for a long time, we thought we were specifically for college and high school students, and we still embrace that audience, and we still do programmings for it. But also during that time, we were ignoring our number one, our number one group that was coming through the door. And that's families with kids 12 and younger. So what you'll see is you'll see a lot of exhibits at the beginning that were definitely with that, that, that mentality that we were for high school and college students. Over the last five years, we've even changed the size and the scope of our exhibits so that kids as young as kindergarten or four years old can embrace them and interact with them. But for us, it is tough when you're talking scientific concepts. We, have, it's, we try to make it so that no matter if you're zero to 99, you're gonna have it fun and you're gonna learn something in this building. And now, onto our very last main attraction, the Pilot House. The Pilot House is Discover World's top space for events, for weddings, um, and for galas. The, the Pilot House is an amazing 360 degree, a room with a 360 degree view that you can literally go outside. 
and look at all of Milwaukee. You can see all of Lake Michigan. You have from one side of your views, you have the Calatrava building open. On their side, you have Summerfest happening. It's just a beautiful facility inside Discover World that we're able to host special events and really, you know, have, you know, really upper class and black tie events that happen up here. We also hold science fairs up here. We have just fun things going on and it's another space in Discover World that we are continually trying to find uses for and make sure that it's never empty. We never want a building just to stay idle. We always want to find something that happen and take place in that building and the Pilot House is absolutely one of those entities for us. The views you can get from the Cabin House are truly like no other. You can look on one side and you'll see the beautiful Milwaukee Art Museum, or you can go over to the other and you'll see some fishermen out and about doing their thing, trying to get that catch of the day. But whatever you do, wherever you look, you're guaranteed a great view over Milwaukee or the lake. And if you still feel like you don't know enough about Discovery World, don't worry, we've still got you covered. If you're, if you're looking to get uh, more info on what's happening at Discover World, of course, please, by all means, go to www.discoverworld.org. We, we will have our event calendar, we'll have blogs, we will have special announcements on there, but we're also very active on social media. We try to post to social media daily on our channels that we have, so we love Instagram, we have Facebook, we have Twitter. We're trying to update that daily and really give audience, maybe our members that are here every day, we want, or are here every week, we want to show them what's happening daily. Or if someone isn't able to come every day but they always want to keep tabs on what's happening at Discover World, we always try to give that inside behind the scenes look on our social media. We've really found that the more we are able to provide in-depth you know, breakdown of what happens behind the scenes, the more our audience is invested in us. For all those people who haven't visited Discovery World before, the website is the perfect way of showing you what to expect when you want to go and visit for the very first time. It shows all the different activities that you can find at Discovery World, and it also features the details to a very special summer program. Discover World has, literally has the coolest summer camps in the city for 11 weeks from third grade through eighth, first grade through eighth grade. Uh, they were the first project that I became involved with when I started here at Discover World. So I'm a little biased, but I absolutely love We have a hundred different camps that, there's camps where you literally will sail on the Dennis Sullivan for a week. There are camps where you make your own video game from scratch and you take that video game home with yourself as the main character. Uh, there is camps called Custom Electric Car Designer where you come in from, you come in the week from scratch with just materials and you have to learn how to build, solder, wire, and even create your own screen print for your own graphic on your custom electric guitar that you take home at the end of the week. Uh, with our summer camp programs are extremely special because kids will be here all day for a week, uh, 9.30 to 4.30. And at the end of the week, we have this really fun, um, uh, this, this program where the parents come in for a gallery and the, the students will literally show what they've done for a week. So in a, in a camp like our fashion design camp, which is one of our two most popular camps, uh, the campers will create a dress or a fashion line throughout the week and then have a fashion show that last day. You know, it's we really love being the home for, uh, for students in the summer because you know we'll get a lot of uh, a lot of public visitors, but school groups aren't in school isn't happening. So for us to be able to turn our building into basically a school for 11 weeks in the summer, it's fantastic for us. And there's a there is a life here at Discover World for 11 weeks when summer camp is going on. When you have 1,600 kids here for 10 weeks for all day every single day, you, those kids become to feel like family. And especially the kids that are coming for four to five camps, you'll have them here for five days for five weeks in a row. So our summer camp programs are an extension of the, the you know, the of how good our education team is. And for me, they're literally, our summer camps are literally the greatest thing we do here at Discovery World. If you're ever looking to help out Discovery World in some way, shape, or form, you can volunteer to become a part-time staff member and assist the Discovery World personnel as needed. Who knows, they may even ask you to take a sail out on the Dennis Sullivan for support. But if you're still looking for more info on Discovery World, I'm afraid you're going to have to go there and find it for yourself. Thank you all for watching this show. This has been Unknown Treasures, and we hope you all have a great day.